So today, guys, I'm going to show you two different strategies on one deal. It's a pretty good deal. One of my students sent to me. It's um, property is worth about $160,000, right? So at the repair value, ARV is $160,000. The guy owned the property uh, seventy thousand, so he got a mortgage balance for seventy thousand. He wants ten thousand in his pocket. We're going to negotiate him down on that. This is one, um, and it's about six thousand behind on payments. And we got a monthly payment. This is the good part. Monthly payment. $460 PITI. It's principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. Now, there's two different strategies here. Also, let me tell you, you need 10,000 in repairs. Let's put the 10,000 right here. Now, let me show you these two different strategies that you can do with this deal. So you guys get a deal like this, keep an open mind just cause it's not low enough for you to wholesale, which in this case, we can wholesale it also. So we got about three different strategies here. Three different strategies. First one, we can do is wholesale it. Wholesale, the retail, or take it over subject to. Depends on where you're at in your business and if you need money fast, you may want to wholesale it. You can wait on your money. You may want to retail it. If you're looking for cash flow so you can get out of that daily nine to five, you may want to take it over subject too. Because what I'm about to show you here is really exciting. So let's say here, 70,000 on the mortgage. He wants 10, he's behind 10. And the repair is 10. So let's add this up. I'm going to add this up right here. That's 70 plus 10 is 80 plus another 10, 90. So we're in at 96,000. We're in at 96,000, right? Now, just say you, you're in at 96,000. You could sell this property for 160. And walk away with about sixty-four thousand dollars. But let's be realistic. Doing rehab is going to take you about two or three months turnaround time. So if you can wait that long. Hey, it's worth it. Sixty-four thousand. It's a good deal. It's a good spread. Now you could wholesale it and make you about a good twenty grand on it. Just do the Mayo formula. Make you a good twenty on it. That's a quick check. Or depending on your cash flow and your situation. You can put this 90, you can put this, hold on, let's, let's fall. You take it over subject to, you'll be taking over this $70,000 balance, right? Give the seller 10, I'll probably get them down to five. Get a seller 10, behind 6,000, repairs 10,000. So remember, you're taking this 70,000 over subject to the existing mortgage, which means the mortgage will stay in the seller name, title will transfer to your name. You're in at, what is this, 26000 You're in at 26000 You take it over subject to, you got a payment of four sixty. Let me show you the good part why I will keep this for a subject to deal. Payment is four sixty, but the rental area, the rental amount in that area 
It's 1,500, guys. 1,500. 1500 that you can get for the rent. It's 460 monthly payment. That's $1,040 per month, every month. And I don't deal with tenants because they're headaches. I deal with lease purchase um, tenants. They're responsible for the repairs after 30 days. You don't call me for anything. So, if you get this house fixed up and it's looking good, easily $160,000, you can get you a ten dollars to $20,000 non-refundable lease purchase down payment. So now, you got $1,000 coming in a month, plus 10 to 10 to 20K on the lease purchase deposit. Let's put them in there for about 10, two years. You can increase the value on your lease on your lease. Increase that value every year they don't buy. Come on, man. That's sixty-four thousand and end up turning into seventy thousand, guys. Seventy thousand plus. Remember, you got that non-refundable down payment. Plus in two years, think about it. You got over a thousand dollars a month. That's about twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six thousand dollars in two years. So keep an open mind, guys, when you're doing these deals. Don't just look for the wholesale way out. There's several different strategies that's depending on your, the point where you're at in your business. So keep an open mind. Got any questions, shoot me an email, shoot me a text, give me a call. Mr. Transaction Engineer signing out. See you on the next one.